This video was made possible thanks to our friends over at Hollywood Health and Society who sponsored this video. Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. According to the United States Bureau of Justice Statistics, around 1.5 million adults were in prison at the end of 2017. And while each year more than 600,000 individuals are released, about 450,000 of them are arrested again within five years, many for technical violations or non-criminal behavior. Recidivism is largely the result of the challenges faced during reintegration, like finding employment or housing. And those with addiction or mental health issues can have an even harder time reintegrating after prison. Let's see just how hard it is to re-enter society with a criminal record. As a returning citizen, job opportunities are pretty limited. Many employers are hesitant to hire individuals with a criminal record. Some states even allow employers to deny jobs to those who were arrested, whether they were convicted of a crime or not. A 2003 survey conducted by the Urban Institute found that only 40% of employers were willing to hire a formerly incarcerated person. In addition, those who spent time in prison may have a limited education or employment history, making competing for a job all the more difficult. These issues often result in released prisoners finding work in low-skilled, low-wage jobs like the food service or manufacturing industries. Already starting with a low income, some returning citizens are required to pay certain penalties after their release, like parole fees that can cost up to $150 a month. Altogether, this can make it extremely difficult to support themselves and their families, leading some individuals to reoffend. So, what about housing? Limited finances also make it difficult to afford a home, and housing policies can ban returning citizens from renting apartments. In many instances, returning citizens end up homeless. A 2018 report by the Prison Policy Initiative found that previously incarcerated individuals were almost 10 times as likely to be homeless than the general population. And studies have found that housing insecurity is linked to returns to prison. Incarceration disproportionately affects individuals with low levels of education, as well as minority groups, particularly people of color. Recidivism follows the same pattern, with re-arrest rates of 59% among black offenders and 60% among offenders without a high school education. But there are re-entry programs that can help former inmates succeed outside of prison and curb recidivism rates. These may provide short-term housing, help finding jobs, and therapy. But assistance with re-entry should start during incarceration. Providing educational opportunities, counseling, and addiction treatment can all help prevent future offenses. For instance, a 2017 study found that incarcerated people who participated in educational programs while in custody were 43% less likely to enter prison again in the future. Together, these programs can help returning citizens escape this vicious cycle and successfully re-enter into society. So do you have any questions that you want me to answer next? Let me know right now in the comments section below. Links to free resources can be found in the description. Thank you so much to our friends over at Hollywood Health and Society who sponsored this video. To find out more about what they do and see how you can help their great causes, click the link in the description. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.